Hey there, Canvas creators. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to tackle something that's often overlooked, but can add a dash of personality to your Canvas courses, which is uploading an image to your course card. Guess what? We're doing it with a touch of humor and thanks to some hilarious GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call them. So here I am on my Canvas dashboard. And as you can see, I do have image cards for each of the course that I'm teaching. You know what? Let me go ahead and expand. You can see it much better. And as you can see, this little course does not have an image. These images have been created by ChatGPT. But I'm going to show you how to upload an image and a GIF, GIF, whatever you, you want to call it. So the first thing I have to do is click on my course scroll all the way down until I find settings. And once you're here, you can choose an image. So all I have to do is click on choose an image, open the folder where you have your image and all you have to do is drag and drop. And there you have it. Do not forget to update your course details. Now let's check the dashboard. And there I have it. Like I promised, I'm going to show you how to upload a GIF, GIF to make it much more creative and fun. Trust me, this does add a personality to your courses and students kind of love seeing their course standing out. So once I'm here, I'm going to click. Oops, I think I went too fast. I'm going to go back to my dashboard, click on the course, scroll all the way down to settings. And here on the three ellipses, I'm going to click on the ellipse and remove the image. I'm going to choose an image and here I'm simply going to drop in a GIF, GIF. And once that's done, I'm going to upload course details. Let's go back to the dashboard. And because this is statistics class, it says data does not lie. Now you might ask, Bamani, where did you get this GIF or GIF from? All I have to do is go to Jiffy.com and here I typed in data or you can type in statistics statistics and click search and this is what I got I simply right click and save the image you know what let me click on the image right click and save the image now let's go to data here and I think I like this one I'm going to click on it right click save the image and this image automatically saves in my download options now let's go back to the canvas course click on the course go back to settings and here i'm going to choose an image and i'm going to drag and drop the image that i just saved and then i'm going to upload and here when i click on my dashboard you can see what i wanted my students to see is data data everywhere but they can't see it now there's a quick fix for that. All you have to do is open up your PowerPoint presentation and I am going to insert the GIF that I just downloaded. And then I'm going to expand it to my PowerPoint presentation. And mine is in just a regular basic blank presentation. Let me take a look at the design. Uh, the slide size is widescreen. So as you can see, this is widescreen. That's what it's set for. And I'm going to expand this one just a little bit. Make sure this is there all the way up to the bottom. And now I'm going to export this as create animated GIF. And I'm going to go ahead and save it to the presentation. It says, do you want to replace it? I'm just going to say yes. And now I'm going to go back, click on the course scroll all the way down to my settings click on these three ellipses and then i'm going to drag the image that i just saved and as you can see now i can see data data everywhere so sometimes you will encounter the situations where the image size is not the size of your course card and if you want to readjust it you simply use your powerpoint and adjust it and resave it or export it as an animated GIF and then upload it back to your course. So this is something that I enjoy and I want my students to have fun while they're looking at the course too. But I don't want this data data everywhere. I just want to make sure I have 
data doesn't lie. So I'm going to go back, choose the image, drag my data doesn't lie here. And then I'm going to update the course details. Click on my dashboard. And this is what I want my students to see when they log in. And this kind of makes it fun and engaging for you and for your students. So that's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed this quirky tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow Canvas creators. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more entertaining Canvas tips. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, learning can be fun, especially with little humor and gifs, gifs thrown in. Until next time, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.